What's going okay. on, everybody? Ashley? Good morning. Afternoon. Good night. Welcome, Coach's Corner. We are here again on a Thursday, and you have Coach Ashley and Coach Malik with you today speaking to you about supplements. We are very excited about this topic, but first, um, we are going to give you guys a quote like we try to do on every episode. So we'll give you a quote and then dive into the meat of this podcast. To start us off, our quote today we think it's a good one, especially starting this new year. We're in 2024 now. Hi, happy 2024. Forgot about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Crazy. The quote today is failure. Ooh, wait, what was it? What's the first line? There is no failure. There is no failure. You either win or you learn. What do you think, Malik? Agree. I like it. I like it. Now you sent me this quote and it's a preaching to the choir type quote for me persistence after you fail is how we grow. You know, if you think about anything that grows, it's always after the failure, not the success. And uh, I've learned that success only breeds complacency in an organization, but also in new people coming into the organization. If you have a really good organization or a team or a family or whatnot, and you have someone coming into that, they automatically think that they're now, no. They made it. Yeah. No, they you got, you got fail a like and have you watched The Last Dance? No, I don't think I have. It's a really good Netflix uh series about the Bulls when Michael Jordan was on the team. And oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So it's won- so good. The best. I watched it like eight times. It's so good. Just let you know, it hasn't changed. It's the same one every every time. It's the same one. But uh But you know what? You learn something new every time you watch it, right? Yeah. Like you get something new out of it. That's what I got out of this time. His th- so he goes one, two, three, right? He three peated, goes plays baseball. And when he came back, he started seeing a complacency. He's like, oh, people like Kerr, you know, Steve Kerr, or um, there was this other good guy, I forget his name, but they were very complacent because they were like, oh, we're coming to the Bulls. They won three championships. They had, you know, and Michael Jordan was like, no, we're not having this. And was like, that's why him and Steve Kerr got into that you know, a little tussle and Steve Kerr got him a little punch in the face, but it was because of that complacency. And I see it at MC as well. Sometimes where new kids come on the football team and they're like, Oh, I'm part of the MC, but it's like, you didn't do anything. You like, you're <laughs> so uh, success breeds complacency. And that's why I like this quote. There is no failure because if anything, you're either winning or you're learning. Okay. Love that. And to expand on that right before I found that quote, there was another quote that said, gosh, mom brain sucks okay but okay it was so freaking good because of what you said it literally said that short term or fast or instant success essentially does breed like complacency or you start to get comfortable like you know all those things that you really don't want to do you don't want to get comfortable you don't want to get complacent because then you stop growing and then it said it didn't mention really like failure, but it said that that long term success that that one where you have to like really work at it, you have to really try it. It takes a while to get there. You had to like grind, like you you really push to get there. That breeds essentially like people who can win, right? And who can keep going and growing and keep working at it. And when they get there, when they get to that long term success, they don't stop. Because they knew what it took to get there and they're not going to lose it. And they don't want to revert back. They don't want to get comfortable. Those people that really, really had to work for it are going to keep working to stay successful and to continue growing. I thought that was really cool. I like that. I really like that. Yeah. Keep pushing. Yeah. I think that also just like fosters when you look at it that way I feel like and like listen there's a lot of new year's resolutions situations that happen right now you know which we will get into yeah next episode there's a lot of goals that just get thrown out there right now there's a lot of things that almost are just said with not a lot of meaning behind them and when you switch that outlook and you look at it as a growing process and a learning process instead of a failure that's what keeps you going and that and that is what like that is what what are you saying here let's put him down that 
outlook is what changes your success with whatever you're taking on this year, your fitness journey, your mental health, your whatever it is, your new business, that actual mindset shift changes the way you are going to succeed this year. Because when you do fail, because everyone fails, when you do fail, when you do have a hiccup, when you do have a bump in the road, you don't see it as a failure. You you switch that into a learning process and you then pivot and navigate to a new route and you can keep going. Yeah. Right. Like, I think that's so yeah. cool. And I remember when I learned that and when I started thinking about it that way, I was like, that is like such a great way to, to just go about life because everyone fails no matter Oh, what yeah. like what part of life it doesn't in every part of life we always there's always a failure whether yeah. it could be in a relationship it can be in your fitness journey and your in your career it could be in so many things you're always going to fail and the people that get past that bump the people that get past that challenge let's not even call it a failure they get past the challenge those yeah. are the successful people all the people you see in the gym that have like great physiques and have been going to the gym for like almost like half of their life, their entire life. All those people had failures and all those people had to learn because maybe they tried to like, let's just say they tried to do like a bikini comp. Yeah. Like maybe they went into the bikini comp and they did not win. Maybe they, ha they didn't even make it. They couldn't, they weren't in the right shape for it. Like it doesn't matter what part of their journey they had a failure in the people that have had successful businesses have had success in their careers have had success in their fitness journey those all those people failed but they kept going and the people that you see that haven't had the same success that have had challenges and essentially given up those people always go back they always go backwards they don't continue going forward they have a hiccup and they stop and literally just not stopping is how you get to success. How you just... can we help those people not stop? How can we help those people? Actually, this is a good addition to our next episode okay. about goals, right? Yeah. Because because those people that keep stopping and that I just had a chat with a, a girl yesterday about this, that it's going to be hard and it's going to be challenging. And I gave her a goal of like a protein number she had to have, mm -hmm. you know, today. And I was like, it's going to be rough. Like you've never done number? this before. What was, huh? the number? what was the number? This is bad. She was getting like 20 grams of protein in a day. What did you recommend for her? I tried to get her to 90 and I was like, yeah, the ladies 90 and, Hit it. and we're going to have to add a little bit more. Like Ooh. 90 is just minimum. so that she could minimum. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's what I told her. I was like, this is a minimum, but I'm going to give it to you as a first step because it's going to be really hard. And I just need you to go for it and try it. And it's going to be difficult and you're going to feel really full and you're going to feel like it's like it's hard to even figure out how to get that much protein in one meal, but you have to do it and you have to try to get there because then we're going to keep adding on. Okay. Yep. So that was like my speech to her, yep. but I had to prepare her. And I feel like with your goals, with your your route that you're taking towards a certain goal, you want to lose 20 pounds, whatever route you are taking, you need to write in the failures you're going to hit. Mm -hmm. You need to prepare yourself with the failures, with the challenges. Mm -hmm. So maybe not the failures, the challenges. You have to prepare yourself. You have to write down the challenges you are going to hit. If you are trying to lose 20 pounds and you're saying, and you have a hard time going to the gym, you need to prepare for that. And you need to get an accountability partner. You need to find a class that you love. You need to find a gym buddy that is going to make you go. Like then that. you have another challenge where maybe you snack too much. So that was my goal with her. I told her to try to get 90 grams of protein because it was going to help her to stop snacking on all the junk. Right. She's going to be more, more satiated. Exactly. That's what I told her. I was like, you're going to be full. You're not going to want to grab the snacks and you're going to think about having to hit the protein goal. So you're not going to reach for that junkie snack. You're going to have to reach for like some freaking a steak or something, yeah. you know, Beef jerky or some. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Shrimp tacos. I mean, it could be salmon. It could be whatever else. Right. It could, if you're, we'll talk you about that another time, but hard boiled egg, hard boiled egg. Exactly. Yeah. that, And she actually, she was like, I love hard boiled eggs. I could do that. I'm like, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So you grab that instead of grabbing chips, right? Much Empty calories. Much better. Much better. 
And you're fuller. So, fuller. Yep. That's exactly it. Is so that with that, well, she's going to text me at the end of the day today. So I don't know yet. No, all right, no. <laughs> the, ch the challenge is that, you know, you are going to have, you have to prepare for them. And then you have to prepare for when you hit that challenge and you do fail and you do give into the snack, you do give into the whatever it is, right? And how are you going to get past it? How are you going to keep moving forward from that? So I told her, if you don't hit your protein goal tomorrow, not a big deal. Don't beat yourself up for it. But you're going to try again tomorrow because a day is a day. It's fine. And like we were saying, successful people just keep going. I yeah. can miss a week at the gym and yeah. it doesn't matter because the next week I'm going to go back. Right. I know I will because it feels weird for me to not go and work out. Right. That's where I'm at at this point, right? That's where we want everyone to get to where they feel off eating unhealthy, not right. going to the gym, not being active, not getting out, not getting out outside. That's where we have to get people so that they feel that healthy lifestyle as a norm and the unhealthy lifestyle as weird. Yes. That is our battle here on Coach's Corner. Totally. No, I agree. It's, and I really like the forecast upcoming cha challenges and prepare for them. I think. Hey. I like that. We should make a free thing for this. Are you taking notes? On the good stuff. Okay. The we good should stuff. do <laughs> the good stuff. Not all of it. Not everything I say is good. So we should do a little pamphlet. We'll figure it out, but we shouldn't think about that right now. Okay. But Let's right, put a supplement. Gonna, supplement. Next topic, quote of the day, you never fail. I don't, you got to change the definition of failure. Your perspective on failure is going to change your whole outcomes. So no reason to get discouraged off a little failure. As a matter of fact, we're not even calling it failure anymore. We're calling it challenge because we like challenges. So we're going to be encouraged by our challenges because – when we go to the gym, we know when we fail or when we get challenged, we're going to grow. So why don't we think in life when we get challenged, we're going to grow. So every time we get challenged, every time we fail a little bit, every time we make a little human mistake, just know that you're going to grow. Yes, that was good. Thanks. Notes <laughs> on the good stuff. It was good. The supplements. So let's go on to supplements now. Should you take supplements? So no. even, even better, are they beneficial? Yes, too. Yeah. yes or no? Go ahead. We've had this conversation before, so we wanted to bring it to you guys live because I have had Malik take supplements, high end, good quality. That's the thing. I feel like quality counts. Hey, you're you're gonna love this. It's not a. It's it's about ingredients, not calories. Exactly. Exactly. And to me, ingredients are so important, and ingredients in our regular food are is not great. Ingredients, right. ingredients when you eat out, ingredients when you um, buy already prepped food, like when you're not cooking, because when you cook, you can put ingredients in there that are good, you know, but our food, the food system, all of it has really just degraded. Like it's not, it's not good quality anymore. Yeah. So to me, I think that there's certain supplements that actually are beneficial and I think that they help. And I no, I know that they help. And I know that there are certain things you need to take because we're not getting it from our food anymore. Right. That's my take on it. I know you don't like them. I don't not like them. I used to, if anyone's followed me for a little bit, I've used to take a whole bunch and I have actually just do a little, I don't know how long it's going to take me like 10 seconds, five, eight seconds. Hold on. One. <laughs> He's going to grab supplements. Oh yeah. How do you know? Uh, All right. I don't think there's any in here to be honest, but I used to take this whole thing. Like, a day? Yeah. Oh, they're not in here. Dang it. But, um, I mean, not, you know, it's not crazy, but I would, they basically would have little like apartments and I would have like multivitamin. I mean, it's in, it's, it's in some of my past videos. I had like, you know, super xanthan and stuff like stuff that like, you know, you could just, it's just a lot of stuff. So it was like, I think it was eight and I took a multivitamin, fish oil, magnesium, zinc, pretty much you, you name all the main ones. I, I was taking it every day. And I probably did it for a good year or two. And not that I didn't like it. Sometimes I would, but I feel like after a long time of taking them, I was, my stomach was getting irritated and I'd wake up with like, I would just need, like, if I took those, I would need just like something else in my stomach, which is probably normal. Like you probably need food with all those supplements and stuff, not just, you know, so it's probably normal, but um, I just didn't like the feeling, you know, I, I like to feel good. So I always try to like feel how I'm feeling and then base my 
practices off of how I'm feeling. That's so huge. That's super important. Yeah. So I started taking them off, right? And one of obviously like the xanthan was one of the first ones I took off because I was like, you know, whatever. The multi vitamin was like the last one that I stopped taking. And after not taking them for so long, I feel the best I've ever felt. And maybe again, like you said, the quality. You know, I think quality is a big thing. I think supplements, uh, you know, the quality, like, you know, certain companies care a little bit more. So they put better quality in their supplements. S uh, some cu supplement companies are huge. So it's just like so processed. But I've been trying to more and more as I get older, stay away from processed everything. The, yeah. less, the least processed is the better. Obviously, we're still, if you live in a society, it has to, you know, there's certain sacrifices you have to, you have to take just to live in civilization. I've learned, but, uh, you know, if, if you're not farming your own food, you're going to have some process, but the least process better. So that's my take on it. Um, and I totally agree on that. I think that everyone should try to stay away from processed food as much as possible because that's where we find the most sickness, the more organic and the more farm to table that you can, you know, farmers markets during the summertime, um, the more that you can do that, the better. What's what really has happened is instead of, we used to eat seasonal, we used to eat where like this is winter, right? So winter is usually like squash and um, some other veggies and fruits. Like I think pears and a few other things, but there's a list. There's like the season, a seasonal list of what you can have in the, what you should have in the winter, what you should have in the summer. When you eat like that, what the earth is giving you, then you're able to get all the nutrients that you need because there are certain things like, for example, watermelon, watermelon is a summer fruit. And think about that. It's literally like all water. We yep. need more hydration during the summer. Yep. So it's giving us what we need, but we're not eating like that anymore. We are eating what we see in the stores that is shipped in from all over the country. I mean, even we're getting things from out of the country, right? We're getting things in Mexico. We're getting things in tropical places because we want people want tropical I fruit. <laughs> we're getting things from all these different places and it's not seasonal. We have apples year round. Apples are not year round. We have bananas year round. Those bananas are coming from somewhere, somewhere else because yeah. we don't have them here. Right. So what's happening is we're having fruits and vegetables and all of these types of, I mean, mainly fruits and vegetables, I would say that we're getting shipped in from other places that then deplete in nutrients because we're not getting it fresh. We're not getting it right away. It's getting shipped and who knows how long it's been there. And who knows what they're putting on it to preserve it. And then we're getting it. So growing, obviously growing your own food. Yes. All that stuff, like hundred percent. But there are companies that make like, let's just say like a daily greens powder. Right. They make a green powder that they are able to go and farm themselves, right? They have their own farm. They pick it right away. They freeze it right away. And it's the, and nowadays you can actually like instant freeze where it will like right when you pick it. So it's technically fresh still, they turn it into powder and then you're getting those daily greens as a, in a powder form, but you're getting it very fresh as opposed to having year round bananas that you're getting shipped in and they're picking. Usually what has to happen is they have to pick them like very, very early so that they even last to get to us. Right. Right. So for me, when I think about that kind of stuff, I, my goal is to try to eat seasonal, but then on top of that, add in some vitamins, some nutrients, some additional things to help my body continue to get vitamins and nutrients and minerals that it's missing. Because on top of like our food being shipped in from other places, it's also our soil. Oh, you okay. Our, our soil is like so depleted. Because we are. Well, that's why you're saying so much is good because it, it'll fill in those nu nutrients. Okay, he's growling. I could not hear that. Right. That's why you're saying supplements are good because it fills in those holes that the foods aren't. Yes, exactly. And on top of that, um, because of the society that we live in, because it's so like mass production, right? Our 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 dairy, our um, food, our everything. It's like mass production. We just have to get food out there, and we have to provide it for a whole crap ton of people. It's so bad. It's so bad the way that we're doing it because not not only is it wasting a ton of food because it, most of it's not even, a lot of it's not even getting eaten, right? It's wasting a ton of food, 
it's totally depleting our topsoil. So instead of the soil, just so this is this is just like us as humans, and this is just like the earth, just like everything in the cycle of life is supposed to be. We're always supposed to get a break. Whether that's in the winter, we take our break, whether it's in the summer, we work really hard and get our body we want for the summer and then take our break. You need a break. You need to rest. And we live in a society that doesn't believe in rest, which is also part of our food system. They don't give our soil. They don't give the farming land a break. And the vitamins and nutrients in soil are not coming back. The, the crops are just, they're like basically taking the crops out, plowing everything, putting it right back in for it to grow. And there's no break. So the nutrients are missing there. So our food is continually getting less and less and less nutrients. They say like an orange back in the day, you'd have percentage of vitamin C. Nowadays, you're going to need like 10 oranges just to get that same amount of vitamin C. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So there are things like um, vitamin C, which you get from fruit. There are things minutes, like- By the way, we have seven minutes. Oh, dang it. This is such a good topic. Okay. So there's um, vitamin like zinc, A, C, D, and E, right? Though I can think of those ones, zinc, A, C, D, and E. Those five <clears throat> vitamins, they're actually vitamins we have to get from our food. So if we are not getting that from our food, where are we going to get it? I believe in those vitamins because we have to get it from our food and our body does not make those specific ones. I like to take a vitamin with all of those in it and to take that supplement, I'm giving my body what it needs because I'm not getting it necessarily all of that from food. So I need to supplement with it because I am not going to make it on my own, right? Vitamin D, you walk outside, you can sit in the sun, you get some vitamin D. So that's why I have... I have taken specific supplements and vitamins and stuff. There's a, another example is our water. Our water is trash. You can look it up on ewg.org on the water base, even in, even in Marin, like people in Marin think we have like super clean water. It's like, there's like 20, our tap water has um, 20 chemicals above the like regulation, 20 chemicals. So it's 20 and a little bit more chemicals in the water. So if you're drinking tap water, you're getting a ton of chemicals in your body. So <laughs> this is good for you. Stop drinking tap water. The water in Marin is not clean. So what, what we're doing is we have to filter our tap water. So since we're filtering the water, we're filtering everything out. That also means the good minerals and we're not getting any electrolytes for that. If you go to Tahoe and you go to the mountain and hike up there and drink from a spring, then you are getting vitamins and nutrients and minerals, minerals from the earth. We're not getting any of that anymore. So I take a mineral every single day, a mm. mineral tincture. There's things like that, that I know that we're not getting that I know I have to supplement with. If you want to, if you're watching this and you want more information about this stuff with her, we'll <laughs> leave her like information down below. You could hit her up, but uh, yeah, just cause I'm, I'm sure if you were gonna be like watching this, be like, oh, like, how do I get more information? Cause if we gotta cut this soon, but uh, yeah, we'll leave her information and stuff. So you can message her and stuff. Um, okay. yeah, I, uh, I agree. You, you hear about the whole new filter system with our water? No. They're going to start using our toilet water. Yeah. Look it up in California, bro. California right now. I don't know what the heck's happening up in the, in the fucking suit seats, but my golly gee, man, things are going down. They're like going to have like free healthcare for everybody. Like, like immigrants Which just, again, I don't want to talk about that too much. Cause I'm not like, I'm a fitness guy. But uh, yeah, that and then plus the whole toilet water thing. I'm I'm not sure if I'll be living in California for too much longer if this keeps going in the same direction. That's rough. Okay, I just saw an Instagram reel the other day, and the guy was he literally was like walking, not even looking at the camera, and he he just said he was walking and said the FDA does not have any regulation on the amount of poop we have in our food system, and we're and you know your first reaction is like what did he just say? Then he looks at the camera, he goes. There is no regulation on the amount of poop in your water and your food. And I'm like, what is happening? So I like read into that a little bit more too, but I did not hear about the toilet thing. And it kind of makes sense now because he might've been doing it with along with that. But yeah, that's bad. That's yeah. bad. Yeah, it's super interesting. Yeah, I don't know where to go from there, but I do want to ask the viewers, when if you're still watching this, thank you. If you're still here uh, in this episode, comment down below. Let us know what you want to 
hear about in the next following videos, next following episodes. Uh, next episode, we have a guest coming on, a new yeah. coach. So that'll be interesting. And I want you guys to uh, join along and maybe guess who we're having on. Maybe yep. some of you already know. I know one of you definitely already knows. And, it's uh, going to be fun. Yeah, it will. Uh, and we're going to be talking about goal setting next week. Yeah. So, so in conclusion, just so you know, supplements are beneficial. In conclusion, you know, do what you got to do. Some, and we can talk about it again another time maybe and dive into it a little bit more, but some specific ones for specific things. Yes. I'm glad I'm glad you went into it um because I think for this episode for me it was a very simple just sit back and listen. I don't take supplements, so I just don't <laughs> take them, you know. But I do agree with everything you said about the food supply. I did like how you said about the crops. I didn't really know about that about the topsoil. Um you are right. I think everything needs a break. If you look at the ocean, it's it's pulsing, it's not always coming, 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 it's going back, it's coming, you know, our breathing up and forth, you know, you have summer, you have winter. Yeah, uh, tonight you have day. So the fact that we don't, you know, have that back in recovery, active recovery, active recovery, um, is concerning to say the least. Yep, absolutely. But with that being said, Coach Malik, you can find me on Instagram or whatever. Coach Ashley, <laughs> with, with an S, with an S at the end. And this is Coach's Corner. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next episode. Bye.